What's the best stock to buy if you're really bullish on the EV industry? Rivian, Neo, or ChargePoint? I'm going to answer that question in this video, looking at these three stocks across four different metrics. So let's get right into it. You're not going to want to miss the answer to this one. So let's start with revenue on a quarterly basis. And this, looking at this metric really demonstrates the explosive growth in the electric vehicle industry where you're looking at even whether you're looking at the cars or the charging companies and charge point is growing revenue extremely fast i believe it grew revenue at a 90 percent rate in its most recent quarter and but it still got only 152.83 million in revenue in its most recent quarter it's got a lot of runway to grow and it's expanding and it's expanding quickly Rivian is also growing. Look at this explosive revenue expansion as the company is ramping up production. 663 million in sales in its most recent quarter, way ahead of where it was last year. And similarly, NEO, the biggest out of these three companies, the Chinese luxury EV company that's expanding into Europe, uh, delivered 2.2 billion in revenue in its most recent quarter, again, and also ahead of where it was last year so three companies in the ev industry two car companies one charging company all three of them growing rapidly and taking advantage of this tailwind of an increasing percentage of cars that are because that are ev versus traditional uh, ICE combustion but still if you look at the percentage uh, according to Bloom estimates by Bloomberg uh, only 5% of e cars in the US are EVs and roughly 8% in Europe are EVs so it's still the industry is still in its infancy even though it's growing rapidly there's a long runway to growth probably well into the year 2040. Well, for two decades, this industry is going to grow because it's not going to instantly ramp up production, right? You've seen how difficult it is for these car companies to ramp up car production with material shortages and supply shortages and all of that. So it's going to take time for it to grow and it's probably going to take two, nearly two decades for it to reach maturity. So very long runway for growth no one needs to hurry here the next metric i wanted to compare these three uh rapidly growing companies on is cash from operations and according to this metric it looks like neo is the only one that delivered positive cash from operations 51.86 million as of its most recent updated data here and then you have charge point which was negative 50 million in cash flow from operations in its most recent quarter while rivian lost a massive 1.446 billion in cash from operations in its most recent quarter on sales of just 663 million so rivian is really burning through cash trying to ramp up production it's having the hardest time ramping up production and ramping up growth in these three in fact charge point management said in its most recent conference call that by its fourth quarter of 2024 it's going to be cash flow positive so it's going to join neo in terms of being cash flow positive in this regard uh, so uh, charge point making excellent progress neo making excellent progress you could see this growth here in ramping up uh, while it ramped up uh, revenue it's also ramping up cash flow from operations the next metric I wanted to look at was operating profit margin over the trailing 12 months and again NEO is the best in class here but still negative at negative 31.44 percent operating margins charge point the next best at negative 73 percent and Rivian again far behind but showing very nice improvement at still negative 413 percent so what uh, the the main thing i notice here in comparing these two metrics operating margin and cash flow from operations is that rivian requires a much greater 
uh, level of sales in order to bring these operating losses in line and bring down its cash flow from operation losses. It needs to be operating at a much, much higher scale in order to reach anywhere near profitability or anywhere near uh, a cash flow positive rate. So finally, I wanted to look at valuation and I chose to use the forward price to sales ratio looking out one year ahead. And according to this metric, charge point is the most expensive at 2.9. Next, you have Rivian at 1.385. Finally, the cheapest is Neo at 0.766. Another thing I wanted to note here is that all three of these valuations have come down significantly off their highs. These companies used to be valued much, much higher, you know, back in 2021 when there was a lot more hype around the EV industry. Now their valuations are more normalized, and I think it's uh, proving a better entry point for investors looking to get into this rapidly growing industry. So, you know, to make my decision which one is the best one to buy out of these three, I would pick Neo. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. Neo. Neo stock is trading at the cheapest valuation. Meanwhile, it's cash flow positive and it's it's make the most progress towards operating profitability while the other two are growing faster, but they've got a lot more to go before they can be uh, at the level of Neo in terms of cash flow and operating margins. So for that reason, I'm choosing Neo as one of these three stocks to buy right now the best one of these three to buy right now all right that's all i've got for this video if you like this one i've hand selected videos according to your taste and they're popping up on your screen right now so please click on one of those and i will see you over there and as always thank you for watching